So what we've got here, this is the Minnow board. This is a new single board computer you can get with an Intel Atom processor. Okay. And uh, this is uh, the first open hardware platform you can get with an Atom. So that means all the design files and everything are available. So the board has a couple of uses. One would be in commercial embedded products. And another is also kind of into the maker community. So I've got a little fun demo here involving a controlling a robot using computer vision okay. uh, that uh, uses the metal board. So this is kind of like a higher power alternative to things like a Raspberry Pi. Sure. Uh, and it goes for around uh, $200. This is based on the Intel? This is on the, uh, based on the Intel Tunnel Creek, which is the E641 gigahertz. So okay. It's got a gigabyte of RAM. It's got uh, PCI Express that powers the gigabit Ethernet. And also it has a SATA port on it. Okay. We make the PCI Express to, to the LANs available through uh, the expansion connector. So okay. And the way this works is I've got a little web camera attached to this robot arm. This is just a forty or fifty dollar robot arm you can buy on Amazon. And uh, I, I trained it using the OpenCV computer vision library to identify this little foam fish object. So if I take that and kind of put it along this radius here, uh, we can get this started. If you want, to just hit that button. And what we got here on the screen is we've got the output from that camera, and we see what the, when the uh, little foam fish comes into view. That red box means that the uh, computer vision has recognized it. So okay. the robot's going to go kind of into smaller movements and try to center itself on that fish. And it'll try to reach down and pick it up. And this is all done through the minnow board? Yes. Yep. Okay. Running Linux. And the idea behind it was to try to create just a really simple demo project that makes use of a technology that people find intimidating, in this case, computer vision and robotics. Of course. All the code for this is online. You can find it on the GitHub. So. Okay, so that's, that's, that, that is absolutely beautiful. I really, really love that. It's a really interesting size, especially we having the, uh, the SATA on board. It's, uh, and the size is just beautiful. You can imagine for maker projects, that's going to be great. Okay. And you can buy it online through distributors like DigiKey and Mouser Electronics. Okay. Great. Thank you.